Hey guys, this is TK. In our previous two videos, we saw how to configure CDA and also CDA in operation. In this video, we are going to take a look at uh, Cisco I's PX Grid function, which is pretty much provide the same type of a uh, service to uh, identity-based authentication. And uh, they introduced PX Grid service on version 1.3. and what I have here is a distributed de uh, deployment where I have ICE uh, node 1 as an administration and monitoring node and then I have the ICE, uh, ICE node 2 and 3 uh, for policy service and PX grid service and uh, you can enable and disable PX grid service through the uh, administration node right here and I have that enabled for my uh, policy nodes right here and this is pretty much uh, it uh, at this point and um, what we need to do is we need to go and create a PX grid identity mapping here and add the domain controller verify the DC settings and then we can submit that and you see it's connected at this point so once you add the domain controller to the px grid identity mapping it's pretty much behaves uh, the same like uh, the CDA and we can verify this we go to authentication uh, event log here Right. So what we'll do now is we'll do the same test what we did with the CDA. Let's log into our um, Windows client and see if it makes that identity mapping for the username. Now, now I'm logging as a Cisco uh, to this machine and what we need to do is we need to create a, a mapping on the CDA uh, in ICE in this case on the PX grid for this user to the IP address I'm logging from. So I was able to log into the domain controller. And if I refresh this, you see it's a similar uh, result that we saw uh, saw with the uh, CDA that it creates the the username here and then it creates the IP address binding here so at this point any uh, device that subscribe to uh, ICE PS PX grid service uh, can retrieve this information and if a user comes with an IP address uh, then that uh, corresponding username can be retrieved through the PX grid service uh, in our next videos, we'll take a look at how to add uh, the subscriber units or the clients uh, for the PX Grid and uh, utilizing this service. Thank you.